Alrighty. Today, today is gonna be a bit of a different video because we are gonna be taking some pictures of my lovely little Honda Civic, or not so lovely, depends on who you ask, I guess. But to me, it's a lovely little Civic, and this is this is my precious little car. So today I'm gonna tell you guys everything I know about shooting cars. Photography, not like not like actually pew pew shooting, but taking pictures of cars, how to photograph your car. Here are my, I guess, top tips for photographing cars. Of course, I'm no professional photographer, but I think I've done it enough to uh, have a good idea as to what I'm doing and how to take the best pictures possible with what you have. So let's get started. So my first little tip for you is to use what you have. And by that, I mean cameras and with cars. Obviously, I don't have a crazy camera. I don't have a crazy car. Some would argue that this is kind of a not so nice car, at least in <laughs> the condition of the car, because the paint's awful, there's some rust, it's, you know. But it's my car and I love this thing. Camera wise, I'm just using this old Nikon. It doesn't even have interchangeable lenses. It is super simple. Sorry, there's all car noises. I'm right by the road here, but it gets the job done. It takes decent quality pictures. It does what I need it to do. So, I mean, regardless of if you have a camera like this, just your phone or some crazy like thousand dollar camera, it doesn't matter, use what you have, use it as best as you possibly can. Um, and same goes for cars. If you don't have a fancy car, like I obviously don't have a fancy car, but I'm still gonna come out and take pictures of it because I like my car and uh, I wanna take pictures of it. It's just a fun hobby to enjoy. And you know, if you practice on a basic car like this, then eventually once you have access to fancy your cars, then you'll know exactly what to do and you'll have better shot ideas. So that's the first thing. Now, when you actually start taking pictures of your car, the first tip I guess I wanna point out is just to take simple pictures. So take some head-on pictures like this. Like it doesn't have to be anything crazy. And I personally like to just kind of warm up with simple pictures, simple angles from, you know, about this distance. So just get some basic head-on shots, some basic shots from the corner, something like this here. You can go around to the sides, just get a, you know, super, just get the most basic shots. I guess this is a bit more of a interesting view right here. See how that turns out. Just kind of walk around the car and see what you like the best. Just take the most basic shots that you can possibly think of and just kind of play around with it a bit and start getting ideas as to what else you want to shoot, what other angles you want, different ways that you can kind of be creative with your shots for later photos, just as a way to warm up. Sometimes these sort of just simple shots just from the most basic angles, just kind of showing off the whole overall car are the coolest ones, in my opinion, at least. I honestly love these super simple, just here's a car from a pretty basic angle. Of course, don't just pick the most boring angles possible, like just simply standing right in front of it and just taking a picture, boom, like that, because that's pretty boring. I like to zoom in for a lot of my pictures, especially if I'm further away get really low if you can, and then that will get you a pretty nice angle of the car pretty consistently. Almost 100% of the time, i found that just a nice low angle of the car looks pretty sweet. Also, for most of us that don't have fancy cars, there's not too many like cool details about the car that you really want to show off. So you can just kind of capture the whole car overall because that's generally going to look pretty darn good. Because, I mean, if you have a really fancy car, you can show off the wheels, you can show off, you know, parts of the interior. And I'm not saying that cheaper cars or, you know, the cars that most of us will start on don't have cool features and aren't cool enough for that. But in general, the overall car looks cooler than specific features of the car just because of the nature of this, I guess, price point of cars that most of us will be starting out on. My next tip is to use what's known as the rule of thirds. And that basically means to place your subject, which is the car, in one third of the frame. So instead of just taking a picture where the car is directly in the center, like this, that looks cool. But you can just get a completely different look of the photo by placing it in a different area of the frame. It's like in the bottom third and the top third or the left or the right. I love to shoot vertically and placing the subject in the lower third of the frame, I think that looks 
absolutely phenomenal like pretty much all the time and that's just that's kind of my favorite way to shoot because it just almost always looks good it's just a very consistently good looking angle of most cars and just a really cool way to kind of compose your photos for this next tip we're gonna come all the way over here and this tip is to use foreground depth so placing something right in front of the camera and then having your subject further back and then the background behind that to really give kind of multiple layers of depth into your photo so let's see if I can get a good one here I can't really see my camera screen so some of these will probably suck but just placing something right in front of the camera that will be very blurry and just kind of something to be in front of the frame. I mean, this can be pretty much anything. You could shoot right through there. And like I said, you can use pretty much anything to do this. Like here, I can use this pillar to just kind of sneak into the corner of the photo. Just like that. You can also sometimes even use just the ground, just setting your camera pretty much on the ground just to get that ground just right in front of the camera and then the car a little bit further back you can also frame things up pretty nicely using say these pillars right here another tip is to edit all of your photos as you can probably tell i edit all of my photos i edit them all in adobe lightroom i have a subscription for it it just costs 10 bucks a month and you can edit all your pictures to make them look really cool and really professional that's really helpful especially if you don't have a super fancy camera and I, I just always like edited photos better than the raw photos because at least in my eyes editing is a part of photography it's a part of the the art of photography just kind of enhancing the photo making it look even better just getting it to look as good as it possibly can I think that's a really important part of photography all right now we've got a bit of a different angle here get some other good looking shots Also, I do want to talk a bit about some plans I have and some things coming up for this channel. Um, this is mainly for those of you that are regulars to this channel that normally watch my videos and enjoy my videos. And so I made a community post recently about this, but I just want to talk about it a bit more. So I kind of, I haven't been posting a whole lot lately because I kind of lost motivation to post on this channel. Um, it's coming back, as you can tell with this video, I'm sure. But a part of the uh, the reason for that just kind of loss of joy in this channel um, was because I was actually, this channel was monetized, but then when I went to make another account and something to actually get paid, then YouTube said, no, you're not actually old enough. Um, but I didn't say that before, and my age was set correctly and everything. And uh, apparently you have to be 18 to actually get paid but you can make your account and everything when you're not 18, which I am not 18 yet. So they stopped showing ads on my videos and I stopped earning money. And that was a pretty big bummer, uh, especially right at the time because, well, I was making these videos. I had finally gotten monetized. I was getting paid to make these fun videos and all of a sudden that was, that was done and I, you know, wasn't getting paid. However, now we got it all cleared up and we were able to link a parent account to my channel. So now I can actually get paid again, which is awesome. And that's kind of uh, gotten me a little bit excited about this again. It's gotten me more like, yeah, I can actually keep making money from these videos that I put a lot of effort into. And that's kind of the goal of these videos in the first place. And so now that I'm kind of getting back to this channel and actually getting more excited about it again um i am going to be making some slightly different types of content um this kind of thing included i want to do a bit more with photography just more kind of creative video ideas man those trucks are so loud <laughs> i did also recently buy three new things for my budget build series i'm doing with this car so i'm super excited for those things um obviously videos coming up soon about those but other than that i guess the RC videos that I have been doing for so long 
I've been doing this channel for over three years and I've been making mainly RC car videos which just isn't quite doing it for me anymore. Um, it's not that I dislike RC cars or that I dislike making those videos, it's just I don't like it as much as I used to. And so if I want to do this long term, which I certainly do, I want YouTube to be you know, a part of my job at some point in my life. And those RC videos aren't going to get me there. But I think that the car videos and photography type of stuff will get me there because these are, this is the kind of stuff that I'm more passionate about over RC cars, which are just kind of a fun little hobby. Um, but anyways, I hope you all enjoy the new types of content and the new things coming to this channel. I think it'll be really exciting to do more with cars. I am planning on or at least hoping to get a little something next spring something that would be very very exciting for this channel so it's not a guarantee yet but something um something big something about as big as a car um but yeah stay tuned for that next year who knows what will happen with that maybe i will maybe i won't i really don't know it all depends on i guess a lot of different things um, to decide whether or not I could actually pull that off. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video if you watched it all. Um, yeah, I've got a lot more cool videos on this car coming. Lots of more exciting stuff coming to the channel and I hope you will all stick around for that. So if you want to see another cool video on this channel, you can click right up here for that and I will see you over there.